Welcome back to Fusion 306 tutorial. In this video, we will make the arm of the shell chair. So open your Fusion, let's go. It's the last video of the series, okay? Let me hide this. Go to create a sketch, select the front plane. Select line, make a line here with 450 millimeters. That's okay. Go to sketch dimension. The distance between this line and the midpoint here is 10 millimeters. And the distance of this point and this point here is 275 millimeters. Press OK. We have this, OK. That's good. Before we finish, I will show to you that some place are selling this kind of chair, OK? And some place the same project, okay. Some place are selling for forty dollars, and some place are selling for three thousand euros. Is the same project. the The variable here is the kind of wood. So that I make available for free the project for you. So if you could help me. Mm, by making a donation or being my patron so I can keep making this tutorial available it would help me a lot so let's go to tutorial now select line <clears throat> make a line here with 20 millimeters and make a line here with 19.74 millimeters that's okay Go to create, select arc and center point arc. Make an arc here. Okay, go to sketch dimension. The radius here is 22.5 millimeters. Press OK. Go to constraints, horizontal vertical. Click here in this point and this point here. This point and this point. That's OK. Select the line again. Click here in this point, make a line here with 366.24 millimeters. Okay. Now go to create, select arc, three point arc. Click here in this point and this point here. Make an arc here. This arc must be tangent with this line. Okay. Go to go to arc again. Center point arc. Click here in this point, click here, and this point here, make an arc here, that's good, go to sketch dimension, the radius of this arc here is 150 millimeters, that's okay, go to constraint, select tangent, make this arc tangent with this arc, good. We have this, okay. Let me just for information it's for about 35 millimeters of radius. That's okay. Now select line, construction line, make a construction line here, okay. <clears throat> make another construction line here. We'll make three construction line. We we'll make one more here. That's good. Go to sketch dimension. The angle between these two lines here is 22 degrees. Press OK. And the angle between this line and this line here is 39.32 degrees. Press OK. And at this point here, the distance from this point and the midpoint here is 135.7 millimeters. Press OK. That's good. Now what we're gonna make is select the line, remove the construction line here, make a line here with 5.29 millimeters. Press OK. Now select the arc, three point arc, make an arc here. 
okay the radius here is 20 that's good now select a line again make a line here with 20 millimeters and make a line here with 90.74 millimeters the angle between this line is 90 degrees and here is 90 degrees this line is perpendicular okay that's good now go to create select arc center point arc click here in this point click here in this point make an arc here to this point we have this okay <clears throat> that's good now what we're gonna make is select line make a line here with 90.74 millimeters that's okay <clears throat> go to create select circular pattern the object select this line this line and this line here the center point is this point here let me drag this here the distribution is partial partial the angle here is 98 and the quantity is 8 press ok we have this ok good <coughs> now select line make a line here with 9.74 make a line here and make another line here 90.74 millimeters that's okay go to constraints coincident make this point coincident okay the both point is coincident with this line and now go to constraint parallel select this point and this point here that's good select the sketch dimension click here in this point the distance here is 40 millimeters <coughs> that's okay just make sure that here is in the media of the line okay 20 millimeters that's okay now go to finish sketch extra select this profile here and the direction symmetric the extended type whole length the distance here is 20 millimeters press ok Sorry, the distance here is 40 millimeters. Operation new body. Press OK. Now create a component from this body here. Rename this arm. Okay. Let's create a copy of this. Ctrl C and click here with right button paste new sorry click here paste new oh copy sorry paste paste new that's okay let me move this a little bit press ok let's show the other component <laughs> <coughs> that's good now go to joint select the center of this space here 
in the center of this face okay press ok so guys we had some problem here but don't worry problems happen uh, we need to solve it go to inspect select section analysis click in this face here move this 10 millimeters that's okay press okay here here okay okay only this guy is wrong okay don't worry let's correct the sketch click here in the sketch change this angle let me hide this the back here change this angle here to 37.2 degrees that's good and change this dimension here okay this dimension here is 139 millimeters press ok see that uh, it's solved okay finish the sketch let's see other component here that's okay it's solved let's hide the analysis see that everything is good now that's okay we need to delete this arm okay okay the copy delete this and copy again paste as new move this press ok go to joint click here in the center of this face here and click here in the center of this face okay. press ok good press letter a and change the color here select the color we want no problem is your chair okay my chair I will choose this color and here we finish the exercise so thanks for watching subscribe my channel if possible be my patron or make a donation in the link in the description i need to to buy new parts to my computer okay so help me thanks for watching and bye bye